Introducing Skyjack's self-propelled vertical mast lifts. Skyjack's vertical mast lifts offer an easy-to-service, low-maintenance design in a compact and versatile package with platform heights up to 4.75 meters and working heights of 6.75 meters. This zero-emission machine offers low-floor loading, which means it can be used in more applications, including finished and ornamental floors. The single hydraulic lift cylinder with a chain and pulley system provides a smooth and fully synchronized lift. The inverted telescopic mast with large overlaps provides solid operator feel while preventing debris ingress. This reduces exposure to internal damage and equipment downtime. A narrow platform width allows the units to pass easily through standard internal doorways, operate in confined areas, climb ramps and grades, travel at high speed when retracted and low speed when elevated, and are best suited to use on firm level ground. They feature traversing decks that provide up and over capability. Designed with serviceability in mind, the standard traversing deck extends for access to the service hatch and base components, easy access to the hydraulic components, and four 6-volt 220 amp hour deep cycle batteries with quick fill caps makes for quick inspections. The vertical mast range features Skyjack's sky-coated numbered and color-coated wiring system for easy troubleshooting and easy maintenance. The battery charger, located at the front of the base of the machine, automatically adjusts to the supply voltage and when the batteries are at full capacity, switches off the power. Moving the traversing deck is easy by releasing the foot pedal and extending the platform for component access on the ground or add it up and overreach while working at height. The upper control box features a proportional joystick with a safety enable trigger, thumb steer, battery level gauge, function selector switches, horn, and emergency stop button. Lower controls include a master disconnect switch, a second emergency stop, a key ignition switch, and a lift and lower function switch. The master disconnect switch can be locked to prevent unauthorized use. Provision for an AC outlet in the platform provides a convenient, easy access power source for tools that require electricity and eliminates hanging cords. Power to ground is conveniently located at the rear of the machine. Wide, non-marking tires reduce ground pressure and protect finished surfaces, while front wheel hydraulic drives with 90 degree steering gives a zero inside turning radius for excellent maneuverability. When elevating, pothole protection bars automatically deploy and elevated drive speed is reduced for safety. Easy access to the hour meter is located on the side of the mast and the quick disconnect for the control box allows the operator to interchange with similar units and provides added security from unauthorized use. A self-closing swing gate option provides ease of access and a low stowed platform height makes for an easy step in and exit from the platform. The lifts are also equipped with a tilt sensor which prevents overloading and stops the lift drive functions if the maximum slope is exceeded when elevated. In the event of a power loss, the platform can be manually lowered using the emergency lowering valve located at the base of the lift cylinder. First, remove any obstructions from the lowering platform area and simply pull and hold the valve until the platform is lowered to the stowed position. If the unit needs to be moved without power and is on level ground, first make sure the tires are always chalked on opposite front and rear wheels to prevent the lift from rolling. Next, turn off the master disconnect switch. Push in the brake auto reset valve and then push the brake hand pump until resistance is felt. Once resistance is felt, the brakes are released. Before working at height, you should always complete a risk assessment in order to determine the right piece of equipment and the most appropriate PPE for the job. A proper visual and functional pre-start inspection is required before operating the lift. Inspect your surroundings and check for drop-offs, holes, overhead obstructions, electrical conductors, and any other possible hazards or obstructions. Always refer to the operator's manual for proper operating procedures.